You're still in the tournament and still in the competition now, following that point. We've never been out. Well, indeed, <laughs> but, but you do have a, a major situation in the camp with Onana, one of your star players, the goalkeeper, leaving the camp with a disagreement with, with Song. A disagreement because the type of football he plays, he plays the ball out from the back. But Song must have known that all along. That's the type of keeper he is. You were talking to us this morning about that's his strength. Yeah. But also, the one thing I know that there is no big deal. Uh, it looks like a big deal, but there is not. Why? Because uh, what happened there, I cannot really say if it's just about the style of play. Uh, but that happens all the time. From outside, mm. it's a big deal. But if you know what's going on in the dressing room, listen, yeah. it will be headlined every time. Well, so, Kenny, what, what, happens, what happens if a star player leaves the World Cup? Uh, with a disagreement with his manager. It's a big deal, isn't it? Yeah, but it's a good point that Joey makes. The perception from the outside is all oh, the whole dressing room's in kind of turmoil, it's, fr it's fractious and all that type of thing, little cliques. But the reality of the situation, as Joey's saying, is something which is probably, yeah, I wouldn't say it's, uh, it happens all the time, but the players can cope with it. It's a situation which maybe they've experienced before. I think there's a, o Onana, I know you're a big fan of Onana, a big personality in the dressing room. I think it's, a, it's important for him now to step back into the dressing room and pull the whole squad together. It's important him and the manager are seeing to come together and to pull the whole group together because but they're it, still in the tournament and they've got a massive game coming down the road. It looks according to reports, and this was only developing, this story was only breaking as we came on air, it looks like he might have, he might have left the squad completely. You know, I'd like to see him stay as part of the squad, even if he doesn't play in the yeah. third game. To have that type of personality around the squad uh, in the dressing room, uh, if he's a positive influence, putting his disappointment aside, uh, Joey, putting the team first, not his own disappointment. That's the ideal scenario for me. That's what I'd like to see happen. I don't know what the Cameroon media is like, but this is going to be huge news. This is going to dominate the build-up to the Brazil game. Unfortunately, the, the Cameroon media are like uh, Irish media. You know, when you have something like that, you're going to make the Sharks, big deal. that's Tony. You're putting Tony into that character as well, No, no, Shark, no, 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 right. no, 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 uh, first, I have to say the two other keepers, oof, okay, now I have a chance. Yeah, so, but the, the third <laughs> keeper has never played a, an international football game. So he's waiting for the second goalkeeper to do the same mistake as Onana, and then he's going to step in. Do you think he's the one? He, he doesn't mind. So everyone, you know, every, every challenger, you have an opportunity behind the challengers. A pass will never, never in his wild dream thinking of playing if Onana was there. But that's why Onana has to make peace now for me with the manager and the manager's decision. If, if he's as big a personality, as good as you're saying, Joe, yeah. he's got to come back into the team. According, to some, reports, well today. according to some reports, he's gone already. Oh, yeah. He's out. But you've got to put the I think you have to put the team first, Tony and those. So you have to put that disappointment uh, aside and look at the bigger picture. There's still a chance, not that much of a chance, Cameroon can beat <laughs> Brazil <laughs> in the last game. It's still there, it's still possible. <laughs> You see how, you see what's... <laughs> Does this remind you of 20 years ago? Uh, no, this is a far better Cameroon team than when uh, we played. <laughs> <laughs> the bench, the bench is far the stronger. Bench. <laughs> Kenny, you no, can't get away with it. You know, you know what I'm talking about. 20 years ago, a star player leaves the camp. No, it's not the same. No, every situation is different, of course. I don't think there's any, uh, I don't think there's any uh, analogies there. But if Joey's right in terms of what he's saying about now, we know what a top quality goalkeeper he is. If he's a big, that big an influence, positive influence inside the squad, for me, you've got to get him back on board. You have, have to have all your best players available for this And Brazil I would game. be surprised that uh, it's about the style of play. I think it's about what's happened in the first game. I, even myself, I saw something in the first game. And uh, especially in some point where uh, I saw Nana step in outside his box when you have the defender who can do what you expect to do. And uh, that's something I would say is allowed to do in his club, but in national team, that would be a different, different, mm. completely different. So I understand both parts. I, 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 even though I don't really like it, I agree with Robert Song 100%. Why? Because the, the new philosophy, the new mindset they want to put in the team, in the Cameroonian team, is that uh, when you come, you are a superstar based on the result. It's not based on your name. When you put that jersey, 
you just a Camonian, nothing else. Mm. And uh, can Samuel Eto'o solve this problem? You, you have to remember, uh, Onana came from Samuel Eto'o Academy, mm -hmm. you know, and if even Samuel Eto'o couldn't uh, make peace between the two men, it's just to tell you that I think he went in the point where the manager stand, stood his ground and Onana said, no, uh, I don't agree. And at the end of the day, Samuel Eto'o will always go with the manager. Always. You don't have a choice. It doesn't matter. He loves Onana. He loves him. But he will stick with the manager because anyway, we have other 25 players who are waiting. And also, there's, there's one thing. This, the situation will not be solved during the tournament. You will not hear anything coming out of the camp. Samuel Eto'o will not do anything. Why? Because every decision you're going to do now may affect the next game. Mm. So you just have to appease the dressing room and making sure that also Onana doesn't communicate because that will be uh, not, not right. Well, Cameroon has given themselves a chance, certainly, and uh, maybe you can make a phone call or two for us, Joey, and uh, see if we can get more out of the camp Ooh. on that Onana situation. More, to <laughs> more turmoil if Joey gets involved. <laughs> but anyway,